hey good morning everybody so today we have this comfort maker unit not cooling and what is it an ICP product it's a model number so they're saying it's not cooling the space so <laughs> uh, not only that though Look at the uh, shaft. I don't know, the shaft's supposed to move that much. So we're just gonna have to go get a motor and a fan blade for it. So let's, let's go ahead and uh, go pick that up because the, uh, this is, it's funny, this is for the uh, office. That's pretty much the business office and um, they said, get it done. <laughs> if it would have been that one or that one, maybe not. But this one, get it done. Okay, so, so we're back from the supply house. Got a generic motor. They didn't have the original. And uh, we got a blade. Now, this blade is the same uh, same pitch, uh, same diameter, 22 inch. However, the, the width of the blade is about yay much smaller. So I'm hoping it doesn't affect our airflow that much. I'm just gonna check our head pressure before we call it a day, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to verify proper operations, but we'll get this baby up there and get it going. Make sure we take these uh, plugs out just on the bottom side so the motor can drain. And if, you're, if it's going to be mounted like this, and you do not want to take that one off. And then we're going to take these off so they don't hit on the blades. Uh, you pretty much just bend them and they break. Then we'll go ahead and install it. All right, here. reduce this little guy um, unfortunately that's the way it has to be in order for us to to be able to get some air out of here and also what I did was I left the old motor wires here and they're right here so all we're gonna have to do is uh, see if we can fish them in with those just kind of tape them up together pull in and hopefully we make them all the way out if not we're gonna have to disassemble this feed them properly but yeah, we're gonna have to work on this for a little bit. So far, so good. Yeah, so we're gonna get to a point where it's just not gonna work anymore. Boom, baby, got it. So now that we got the wires uh, here in our electrical compartment, you guys gotta make sure to change these capacitors. Um, a lot of times you see people just leave these. And besides, this is a five microfarad and the new one is gonna be a seven and a half. So if you look at your motor, your, the box on your motor should call for a capacitor right here seven and a half So always change the capacitor When you change the right motor guys, quick tip um, I know you guys have probably seen this in my previous videos, but I like to carry one of these little uh, It's a Plano like a fishing organizer, but you can use it for uh, You know what I use it for is I keep fuses spades a couple screws a couple of uh caps hose uh gaskets a couple of everything really i actually don't need these anymore this is from my previous leads go to the trash um and the good thing about this little box right here guys is it fits perfect right up here up front on the mb2 or the mb the original and it also fits back here so that's where i keep mine right back there but this is a great little organizer 
uh, because right now, for example, I need a I need a couple spades, and I just happen to have some right in here that I'm going to need to connect right here. So always try to keep one of these in your tools. All right, now I know that most of you guys that follow me are experienced enough to know this, but so there is a difference if you guys are going to use three wires or four wires. So right here, so you can see right here, we're, we're actually going to use a three wire. So we're going to go off of this one on the left. As you can see, it says right here on the brown and white, it says insulated, which means we're not going to use this one because this one is only used if you're gonna go brown here, right? And if you were to use this one over here, you wouldn't need these right here. We can actually do that, but we're not going to. This wire is already in place. So this, these two wires are actually the same wire inside the motor. So if you use this wire here, let's just pretend we were to do this like a rookie would, right? And then we were to put this guy, well, let me get, so I mean, if we were to go black to line one right here, that's where it's going to go. And let's say we were to use white to line two right here, then this motor would be over amping and going off on overload. You guys have to make sure that if your capacitor is already using a wire to, uh, let me see, where is it? If your capacitor is already using a wire right here, uh, coming right here right if your capacitor is already jumped from the capacitor to your contactor then you do not need to be using this guy this one right here brown and white we're actually gonna cap it rip it up and put it aside so the only wire we're really gonna need is this guy right here solid brown black is gonna go right here and then white we're actually can jump it back here like I said, white and brown and white are the same wire. Hope I didn't confuse anybody. If I did, post it in the comments. I'll explain it to you. So we can actually see it right here. If uh, See, there's your capacitor right there. So if your capacitor is standalone, let's just say that that capacitor was way over here. Then we can use brown and white and brown on the capacitor itself. Nothing else to the capacitor. And then we would just use white and black as our line one, line two. Since we're using a three wire though, right? Then your brown and white will actually be insulated just like we did right here. Just covered it up. And you can see right here, your white, your white is gonna jump into your capacitor and your brown is gonna be on the capacitor as well. But look right here, you see it says line you have to have a jumper from your white on your capacitor to your line two. And that's why we have this yellow wire, which comes in right here, line two. And here's our line one. So I hope I didn't confuse any of you. Uh, if I did, like I said, put it in the comments and uh, I'll try to explain it to you. All right, let's see for those of you guys that have been paying attention. Now that we got our motor in, Everything's secure, we got our capacitor in, wired up properly. We're ready to start this up. Before we pack up and leave, what is one last thing you always have to do when you change any motor? Condenser, evaporator, anything, what do you do? You're right, you gotta check the amp draw. So, gotta grab our meter, let's check our amp draw. All right, we've got the motor going. Good amount of airflow. Uh, we're running about half an amp. We're good. About 0.5, 0 0.6. We're good to go, boys. All I'm gonna do, all, all that's left to do is check our, our high side. Just make sure we're expelling enough air and we're gonna get out of here. But I'll do that off camera. We gotta go to another service call. All right, guys, so we're at the second service call. Um, I went inside the unit. Uh, the thermostat appeared to be of being messed with by the kids. It's an elementary school, so the thermostat's not covered. We're going to have to cover it up. You can hear somebody back there getting screamed at. So the first thing I came in here, uh, I didn't. I noticed the fan wasn't running. I noticed that nothing was running. It was being called for. And 
I don't know why these are off. Um, they're not tripped. They're off. That is odd. In order for you to get here, you need to take off this panel, right? And then before this panel is this panel. So it's not like somebody could have just flipped it on passively. Somebody actually shut it off. So, all right guys, so uh, from the looks of it, it looks like that top breaker uh, feeds the electric heaters. And this bottom breaker is what feeds our air conditioning, our cooling side. So I just flipped this on. We don't have any power up here, but we do have uh, 240 volts right there. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a minute, see if it starts up. Um, actually, it should be calling right now. And uh, let me see, where's my fan? My fan is up here. Let's see if our fan's running. Yeah, blower motor's running. Hmm. Let me start investigating a little more, guys. And th th this is such an awkward angle for me to be at. I actually got to step right here. I got to lean over. And I got to work on this. So, sorry about the bad video, but we'll get through it. All right, guys. Looks like I found my issue here. <clears throat> Look at the way the screwdriver's bending. <laughs> Motor seized up 100%. Yep. I'm gonna have to go get another condenser fan motor. Luckily, these are easy fixes, and uh, I wonder if we need a contactor. Might as well replace it. Uh, huh? I wonder what's going on. It's not calling for cool. Let me go ahead and isolate that fan motor real quick. All right, guys, this call gets weirder and weirder. <laughs> this is the compressor uh, wiring. And you can see where somebody took it off of there. I didn't even notice that. Somebody actually re uh, loosened up those uh, lugs on the contactor and removed this. And this goes straight to our compressor. Boy, if that ain't odd. Uh, let me go talk to maintenance. Maybe the maintenance guys know what's going on before I start messing with anything. Actually, let me own this out real quick. Um, I'm going to put, put it on resistance right now. I have the red one on just a piece of ground. And let me see if I can do this one-handed. But So we're going to check blue first. Okay, let's just go right here on red. All right, red. Reading 1.9 to ground. Uh, let's go with black. Uh, sorry guys, I'm just kind of doing this right here. So black, 0 0.2 ohms of resistance to ground. And let's go with blue. All right, there's blue. Blue has 0 0.5, 0 0.6 ohms of resistance to ground. Got a bad compressor and a bad condenser fan motor. Let me go talk to the uh, point of contact, see what happens. But yep, she's a goner. All right guys, so I was able to talk to the uh, point of contact here for this uh, elementary school and they want us to submit a quote for the repairs since it is a compressor and a condenser fan motor and we're gonna have to do a contactor and dryer. Uh, so we're gonna submit a quote and as soon as that is approved, uh, we will be out, out here again uh, replacing the compressor and the condenser fan motor so hopefully i'll get a video of that too but i just wanted to say guys i know i've been absent for a few months now um i've just been taking it easy uh, trying to trying to deal with uh, some of the stuff that was going on at the previous employer and figuring out if i you know what i was going to do so obviously you guys know that i swapped companies now um i'll get more videos uh done and released and uh hopefully uh, you guys can give me some feedback what you guys want to see what uh thanks for watching guys we'll see you guys on the next one